TitleMatchNetwork.com. Did you ever hear the Iron Sheik tell this story? You and him and Mula in the car? He talked about it on the radio? He talked about it on the radio. <laughs> I just want to verify if this is correct. But it, now, here's it, what happened. She, she was up front with me, and I'm driving. Sheik's in the back, and I can't remember who else was in the back. Just another wrestler. I can't remember who it was, but uh, Sheik lit it. So we just been on a long ass trip coming from United States somewhere and landed in Calgary, rented a car, had to smuggle the weed in, you know, because weed was bad in Canada, you know, you had to be careful. And so he's rolling up a joint back there and she's looking like, you know, she could smell it, but it wouldn't lit up yet. And finally, she lights it up and then he, and he, passes it to me and I take it and then immediately, but she's sitting up there with me but she's over there by the front window, uh, by the right window there and she's going like this. Oh, and then she, then she rolled down the window and then, fit, you know, just a little bit, right? And then the sheet goes, what the fuck are you doing? Don't let that smoke out, that's precious. You fucking bitch, you know, he was, he, he went off on her. And so the rest of the, the whole rest of the way, we, we, I felt bad for her a little bit, but I said, give me another token. And then we put it out and I felt bad for her, but she, the whole rest of the trip, we're not even smoking anymore. She still got the window popped and she got it like this. Another hundred miles, she, she went like that. <laughs> yeah, he said that uh, she didn't talk to him for like twenty years after that. Yeah. <laughs> Something. <laughs> well, she always used to come up to me and because she liked my dad, right? And she says, "Come here, boy," and she put her lips out like this for me to kiss her. And I go, "Ooh," but I do it anyway. I give her a little peck. I go, "Oh no, not this again." But I felt bad for her, you know. But she was. I guess I heard a lot of bad stories about her later on, what she did to those, those girls, and, and I'm, you know, I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to talk about the dead, but. But personally, to you and your father, you guys all got along, or she, she liked you a lot. She liked my dad, so she always wanted to come around. I had to give her a kiss, but that was, that was a funny, that was a funny trip, and the sheik, the sheik is so funny, and if, you fucking pig, don't let our smoke out, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. and it was funny, too, because when he rolled that joint up, and I, I can't, you know, we, we, we snuck it through the border, and we're, we just really want it, right, and he lit that joint up, and he's going, and the smoke is flying everywhere, and she's like, her eyes are ready to pop out of her head. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? You're letting the smoke out. Funny shit, man. Oh my God. Funny shit. He was on our stern for like four hours back in the day. It was in the 90s or something. I saw it on YouTube. But yeah, he would, he would tell everybody that when he first came over from Iran, that I was the first person that showed him how to smoke a joint. I believe it. Yeah, yeah he blamed me. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't teach him the other stuff. What was your reaction backstage the night that him and, I guess, Hacksaw were pulled over in New Jersey? Okay, so I, did, I heard about it, you know, it's telephone, uh, telephone, telegraph, and telewrestler, you know, and I heard about it, and I was out west somewhere, I heard about him and Axel getting pulled over by the Jersey State Police, and they're bad, and I guess they found pot, and I think they might have found some cocaine, I'm, I'm not sure, I know, I know pot, because they were smoking him when they got pulled over, and I think they let him go, they just gave him a ticket, or maybe they went... If they went to jail, they got out, right? And still made the town, but it hit, it hit all the wire services. <laughs> and they, 
the sad part about it, but it's funny too, is they were wrestling each other and they had a big thing going. So I remember two days later we're doing TV and we're in Buffalo, New York, and everybody, everybody is called up to this meeting room upstairs in the auditorium. And Vince is up there. You know how he goes, Arr. I'm Vince McMahon. Hacksaw Duggan and the Iron Sheik will never wrestle here again. Four months later, they were back on the card. <laughs> yeah. They'll never wrestle here again. How dare they smoke a joint going down the Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's because he got his 30 day. we're doing 30 days straight with no break, and he had to have some kind of fun, you know. That's what I'm thinking. But we all got called up there, and... and they said, but neither one of them have a job, and they are fired. Six months later, they're back. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Hacksaw was back. Uh, the only guy they never bring, that they, excuse my bad English, the only guy they never brought back was Nails. TitleMatchNetwork.com